Hello all. Today I will demonstrate you how to use the buttons and how to create the buttons with the gradients in Android. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can click on next. Here you can just give the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is button demo. Then you can choose the language that you want to choose. Here I'm just choosing the language that is Kotlin. Then you can click on finish. Let me clear what I want to do. I want to create a gradient first and then I want to apply that particular gradient in the Android buttons. So uh, let's start with the design first. First of all, you can click on activity main.xml file over here. Then you can click on so system user interface. Then here you can click on split. Then you can simply remove this text view if it is not required to you. Then here <clears throat> you can click on button and you can simply take um, move drag and drop the buttons over here. I'm just clicking on info constraint. This is the normal button. Now here you can apply the different graphics. I'm just uh, applying that the background. The background should be primary dark and then you can give the text color. The text color is as FFF, it will be white. Then you can give the text to style, it is bold. And here you can just write that this button is a click me button. So this is the normal button, this is the simple button which you can say that uh, this is the button with the uh, simple graphics or you can say simple background. <clears throat> then you can take one more button if it is required. But I want that this button should occupy a full width and height, uh, not height, full width only. Then you can click on info constraint. This is the button number two. You can apply the same background, same uh, color and style to this second button over here. And then you can just uh, here width property. You can change that. It is match parent. So you can see that the width of this particular button is changed with the full width, right? Now I want to apply, I want to create a one more button, but that button uh, must have the gradient property. So whenever you want to create a button with a gradient, you first need a gradient file. So here you can click on project. Here you can click on resource, drawable. You can just right click on drawable, new. You can click on drawable resource file. Here you can give the name of your resource. Uh, I'm just giving the name of resource is but back. It means I want to create the button background. Root element you can select. It is a selector right now. And then you can click on OK. Now you can minimize this. Even you can click on uh, code over here. Now I want a shape, uh, particular shape over here. So you can just uh, set that item and here inside the item you can set the shape yes and inside the shape you can give the gradient so i'm just giving the gradient and here in this gradient you can uh, define the angle property i'm just giving the angle is 135 it means it will be 135 degree then you can set here the type it must be a linear why because i want to link use the linear gradient then you can use the start color and end color. I'm giving the start color is, for example, red. And here you can give the end color. I'm just giving the end color is, that is a 0, 0, F. It will be blue. Then you can give the radius also to your gradient. So you can simply uh, add the tag that is corners. And here in this corners, you can set the radius. I'm just giving the radius that is 25 dB. And then you can just uh, close your this corner tag. Even you can click on split. Here you can see that this is the gradient is created over here. Even you can change it if it is required. Now you can apply this gradient to your button. So I'm just uh, moving to my activity main.xml. Here you can take one more button right now over here. You can just click on drag and drop. Then you can click on info constraint. Now, instead of uh, applying the background here, uh, instead of uh, applying the background with the default color like primary dark or ascent, I'm just giving the background of this button by setting the at the rate drawable but back. And you can see that 
the button background is a set over here see this is the button right and here you can simply write click me now here you can set the color also text color uh, it should be uh, fff so it will be white even you can uh, increase the text size if it is required i'm just giving the text to size is 8 point and then you can just uh, set the text to style it should be a bold so here you can see that the button click me is created over here whenever you make changes over here in this button background suppose if you think that i want to give here uh, radius that is 40 dp right so if you make the changes to your radius it will be affected over here see the button radius is changed over here suppose if you think that my button should have a shape that is oval shape right like this then you can just move to your activity main.xml here you can see that your button is uh, oval shape right and it is rectangle see so uh, my android sap is rectangle and here you can see that the click me button having the uh, rectangle shape so this is the way you can uh, create the buttons with the different colors suppose if you think that i want to uh, give the angle property that is 45 so you can just change like this and you can see the effect over here the button uh, can be changed you can run this application and you can see into the emulator here you can see that see my program is executed see this is the button right now if you think that uh, whenever i click on any button i want to retrieve that the which button is clicked right so this is my button number one this is button two and button three whenever user click on this button i want to print the message good morning and whenever it, uh, user click on this button i want to print the message good afternoon and whenever user click on this button i want to print the message that is good evening so uh, i want to uh, create a one function to call all this button at that time you can simply uh, create the button id over here if it is required you can simply call on click and you can call the function that is uh, my function then you can just press alter enter over here and you can create the function the function will be created in main activity dot kotlin file now here you can retrieve the button id over here so you can simply write when close in which you can just pass view dot id so it will return you the which button is clicked suppose if it is button number one then you can simply write the condition over here r dot id dot button one if this button is clicked then i want to just print the message that the which button is clicked so uh, first button is clicked then i want to print the message good morning for short length and then you can call dot show you can simply copy this and you can write the code for button number two and button number three if the button number two is clicked then i want to simply uh, print the message that is good afternoon and whenever the button number three is clicked i want to print the message that is good evening you can simply run your application and you can just check that whenever user click on the first button it will give me a message that is good morning let's see see here good morning message is coming over here whenever you click on this click me so problem is what i call the function that is on click on click function i call in this first button but this on click function is not called for this button number two so here you can write on click my function then you can write on click my function and then you can simply test your application whenever you test this application you can check that here see whenever i click on click me it is good morning whenever i click on this click me then it is good evening and whenever i click on this click me it will be good afternoon so you can uh, this is the way you can create the double color two color uh, gradients you can apply into your button background that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you